Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabajim. And today's scripture is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 through 18. And it reads as follows. Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in Adonai Yahusha, and love unto all the Kodeshim, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that Yahuwah, of our Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you the Ruach of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the Kodeshim. Here, in this passage of scripture, Paul, or Shaul, is basically talking to the called out assembly at Ephesus. And he's letting them know, I heard about you. I heard about your faith in Adonai Yahusha. I've heard about your relationship with him. And I heard about the love that you have and that you're showing for all of his people. So because of that, in my prayers, I give thanks to the Most High Yah for you. He's basically letting them know, I heard about you. I'm thankful for you. And I have always continued to pray for you. That's awesome to have somebody who's praying that type of prayer for you. See, when we pray for people, sometimes we're not praying the right things. We're praying selfish, fleshly prayers when it comes to praying for other people. But here, in this passage of scripture, we get an example of a prayer that Shaul made on behalf of these people at Ephesus. Then he goes on to say that Yahuwah of our Adonai, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you the Ruach of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. See, now he's taking it a step further. He wants them to be able to have the Ruach of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of the Most High Yah. He wants them to get to know the Most High Yah better. He wants them to get wisdom and revelation knowledge of him. He wants them to have a closer relationship with the Most High Yah. He wants them to know Yah's wisdom. He wants them to know revelation that comes from the Most High Yah. And you can only get that from the Ruach HaKadosh. You're not going to get that from celebrities. You're not going to get that from newspapers. You're not going to get that from your friends and your family. So he's praying this type of prayer for the people at Ephesus. And then he goes on to say that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. He wants them to know the purpose of being in a relationship with the Most High Yah. You're not just getting wisdom and revelation knowledge of Him just so that you can be puffed up and so that you can walk around bragging that you know this information about the Most High Yah. He wants their eyes to be opened. 
so that they can know the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the Kodeshim. They will know what is the hope of his calling, what is his purpose. And then, once you know his purpose for you, being a part of his family, being a part of the Most High Yah's kingdom, then you will know the riches that come along with being a part of his family. Not just talking about money and houses and cars and land, but what you're going to inherit as being a part of the Kodeshim. That's the thing. Everybody always thinks, what am I going to get that's physical? But remember, people are missing the spiritual part of being a child of the Most High Yah. You've got to get to know his wisdom and his revelation knowledge and his purpose for you. And that's what most people are lacking. And this is the prayer that Paul or Shaul had for the people of Ephesus. This is the type of prayer that we need to have for each other. We've got to stop having these prayers where we just say, Oh, bless this sister or bless this brother or bless this family. We need to know that if they are part of the family of the Most High Yah, they are one of the Kodeshim. We need to pray this type of prayer that the Father will give them the Ruach of wisdom and revelation knowledge in Him. Because they need it. You need it. I need it. We need the eyes of our understanding to be enlightened. We know too much about worldly stuff, but we don't know enough about the wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of the Most High Yah and what He wants us to know from Him, in Him, and from His Word, from His commandments, from His Torah. We need to know the purpose that we have in Him. And we need to know about the riches of the glory of his inheritance for the Kodeshim. We need to know the richness of our inheritance in him and what all that entails. So we need to pray that for one another. Move away from these bless them prayers and start praying a prayer like this continuously for one another. So when you need to know how to pray for other people, go to this passage of scripture. Look at what Shaul prayed for the people at Ephesus and start lining your prayers up with this when you pray for other people. As you continue to enjoy a day of rest and relaxation and rejuvenation and revitalization for you spiritually, mentally, and emotionally for the upcoming week, give the Most High Yah the highest esteem today. Spend time in the scriptures. Spend time praising Him, worshiping Him giving him highest esteem today. Take some time to seek his face, listen to his voice, and hear his voice and his counsel above all others. 
Give him the hallelujah praise today. Have a blessed day. Take some time to pray for other people. And with that, I will leave you with Shabbat Shalom.